Howdy, Larry Dixon here with another postcard from Moorhead. Today is Lenore's birthday. And what did she request off of my new griddle? Steak. I prepared this steak. It's been out for a couple of hours. Brought it up to room temperature. Uh, the only seasoning I have put on it is salt, pepper, and a little bit of lemon juice to tenderize it. We're going to put it on the griddle in a few minutes. I'm going to saute my onions. And she wanted baked potatoes, so we're going to put this in the oven. It'll take about 45 minutes for the baked potato to be perfect. So I'm going to warm up the griddle. Turn on the oven, and we'll be back shortly to fry up on the griddle these fine looking steaks. Okay, the griddle's hot, ready to start cooking. Potatoes are about 20 minutes from being done in the oven. And I'm going to go ahead and start with a little bit of butter. Put me some butter on the griddle. And I'm going to saute my onions first. I'm going to go ahead and get them started. Put a little bit of butter in there. And then I'm going to start my steaks about five minutes apart when I put them on because Lenore likes hers well done. I like mine medium to medium well. So hers will be on for a little bit longer. And the reason, the reason I can start my, uh, saute my onions first, I've got this little rack right here. And when they get done, I can just lay this on the griddle, put my, my sauteed onions on top of this. It'll keep them warm, but they, they won't be cooking anymore. Also, on, on this griddle, it is important to kind of keep, uh, keep close watch on your onions. Because with that much heat, they're, they're going to brown fairly quickly. Normally it takes about 10 minutes, but this griddle is hot, so I've got to watch it close. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, and put Lenore's steak on there. I'm going to put a little bit of oil, and I'm going to put the, about half of this butter there, and uh, Butter's always better. So I'm just going to reach in here and get Lenore's. Put it right here on the front and let it sear. Get some of that nice, tasty crust. And then we're going to put it back to the back part of the, the griddle where it's a little bit cooler and cooks slower. Okay, Lenore's got a, Lenore steak has got a little bit of a sear to it, so I'm going to move it right way back here to the back side where it's not so hot. I'm going to go ahead and put mine on. Listen to that sizzle. Now that is some good stuff going on right there. I think mine has seared on that back side. I'm going to flip it over. Oh, it's starting start to get a little nice brown crust on it. This is going to be some fine eating. Okay, Larry's, Larry's steak has, has gotten done already. It is actually a little, little more done than I care for, but that's okay. Now, my sautéed onions, they've come right along about where I want them, and I mentioned this little rack right here. I'm just going to let it right back here. Scoop up my onions, they're just where I want them. Put them on this rack. They'll stay nice and warm. Nice and brown and juicy. While I continue to cremate Lenore's steak. This is hot back here. I'm just going to go ahead and turn these two burners off back here. Because all I'm wanting is a little heat to keep my uh, sautéed onions warm and just be cooking right here on these burners right here. Okay, well, Lenore's uh, steak looks like it is, uh, has sufficiently uh, got a nice burn to it. 
I'm going to plate it right there. I'm going to collect up my sauteed onions. Put them right there on top of those delicious steaks. And we're going to go inside and check out our baked potatoes or vegetables. And we are going to have a feast. See you inside in just a few minutes. Well, Lenore wanted steak, baked potato, and we've got some vegetables. How goes it, Lenore? Mmm. Mm -hmm. Simple. Salt, pepper, a little lime juice on the steak to tenderize it. Baked potatoes in the oven for one hour. Lenore's was wrapped in tin foil. And mine was just in the oven like this because I like mine a little crispy on the outside. So that's it. Another postcard from Moorhead. Happy steaks to you.